Hi everybody, it's Tony and Petula. We're heading to dinner tonight at the Chef's House, which is the George Brown College student-run restaurant. Fantastic. Bon appetito! So the Chef's House is probably the most unique dining experience, certainly in the Greater Toronto area, and if not in Canada. The entire space is staffed by the students, the cooks, the pastry cooks, the servers, the bartenders, and the opportunity is to give them an, uh, an idea of what a real world restaurant works like. One lamb, one chicken. Hey, yes, yes, yes. We teach them the fundamentals from fine dining and fine dining service, so it gives them that uh, opportunity with the guests to really put what they've been taught in the classroom into practice. The reason it's unique and different is you're supporting students. You're supporting, you're supporting the next generation of talent. Plus, we use a lot of local ingredients. We're one of the uh, culinary tourism in Ontario, or one of the destinations. We use 60% of the produce we use is in Ontario. This has been very, very popular. And the little flowers you see on all the different dishes yeah. that you're going to see today, uh, all those are from the George Brown uh, garden. So all those are edible flowers that come right from the college. So that's a great little fact you can add uh, and your guests will love to know that. Okay, moving on. So what's it like being in the George Brown Culinary Program? Actually really exciting. We really don't know what's going to happen. Not in a bad sense, but like what you're going to learn, what you're going to experience. Everything's new. You meet a whole bunch of people from basically all around the world. So it's just, like you learn from everybody basically. I think the other thing as well, it's low pressure, it's low key, uh, but they get to see the action and you can see those TV screens as well so you can really see what's happening in the kitchen. What is this? It's a firing order. What does that mean? Uh, what it means is basically after an ordering comes in, um, they'll start cooking the meat right away but they won't cook it fully, they'll let it rest afterwards and then a fire order comes in and then we put it in the salamander, heat it up to the full temperature. Um, another thing about the ordering, what they do is they send all the prep right here of the veg and I'll call the firing out to them and then they'll start cooking the veg and then they'll bring it over to our station chef of the day and we'll plate it and send it out. So as of now, guys, I need you to fire table 14. Firing table 14. Firing a lamb and a chicken. Thank you. students that I've seen in the last 18 months have gone from meek, introverted individuals over the space of a couple of months. They really believed in their talents, really believed in their abilities. Some of the food I see getting put out here by the chefs and, and the service as well from the front of house staff is second to none. Mmm, that was fantastic. Thank you so much to the chef's house staff and students tonight. You guys all did a wonderful job. Absolutely. For more information, check out all the links below. And of course, I know you're going to subscribe for more videos. Bye. Ciao. Want to promote your destination or event? Contact us. If you like this video, then subscribe for the next one. Ready? Hi, everybody. It's Tony and Petula. <laughs> it wasn't me that messed up this time. <laughs> Wasn't me. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Take two.